Hey, business calculus students. What we have here is a cost function. So there's Q and there's the cost of making Q items. There's the formula for it. And what we want to do is we want to minimize average cost. Now, when we're talking about average cost, what we are talking about is the following formula. Let's say average cost equals C of Q divided by Q. And we can write this in a particularly strange way we can subtract zero from the top and the bottom. Doesn't change what's going on, same formula. But it makes it look like a slope. So that is the slope between two points, zero, zero, and Q, C of Q. So that's the origin here and a point on the curve. So I can just say, all right, let's talk about eight. Let's go from the point on the curve at eight, and let's go to the origin. There's a line. Or I can go from the point on the curve at 10, which is around here, down to the origin. There's a line. Or you can even see that I can go here at the point at two, back to the origin. There's another line. Now, I am trying to minimize. I'm trying to make this slope as small as possible. Well, you notice probably what I want to do is something around here. So let's see. Um, maybe, I don't know, around here? Oops. Let me make sure I'm drawing lines. Maybe about here? Something like that? That's a pretty low slope. So maybe somewhere around there, I'm going to have my minimum average cost because what I'm going to see here is the slope from the point on the curve to zero, zero is the smallest. Well, let's do that, check that by finding a formula now. So average cost is going to be our cost function. divided by, oops, forgot to put a Q at the end there, divided by Q. And when we divide everything through by Q, we're going to get Q squared minus 9Q plus 30. All right, that is the average cost function. It's what we get when we divide cost by Q. Well, let's take its derivative. So the derivative of average cost with respect to Q, if I differentiate this, I get 2q minus 9. Now, every time we're trying to maximize or minimize something, we find critical points. So let's find the critical point. Let's set that equal to 0. And you can see that q equals 9 halves, which is the same thing as 4.5. And that's right about where we drew that line, maybe a little bit further. In other words, our average cost this tells us the cost of creating a bunch of items, our average cost will be the lowest when Q equals 4.5. And there are two ways to see that. Graphically, by drawing lines between 0, 0 and points on the curve and seeing when that slope is the smallest, or taking your cost function, dividing by Q, differentiating, and setting it equal to 0. Those are the two ways to find minimum average cost.